Every day throughout the fleet, service members are being trained to recognize and prevent sexual assault. At each installation, there is a team of qualified individuals who help make that mission possible. Well, as a SARC, I, I love my job. I, I love the aspect of training, um, helping people understand the program. Because believe it or not, as much training that we do have, a lot of times people are not too sure about the particulars. So I really do enjoy um, the prevention piece a lot because that's where you can actually get in and talk to the sailors, marines, airmen, civilians as well, and pretty much explain, you know, what are the expectations of this program? What is sexual assault? Because a lot of people, you know, they don't really have that understanding, especially under the, the UCMJ's definition. It's different from the civilian sector. Nicholson has played a significant role in developing events and classes throughout the year that actively engage everyone in the fight against sexual assault. The self-defense classes, you know, as cliche as it may sound, but they're actually really good. And I, I appreciate that we have men coming out too because men can too be victims. It's really there to help people realize that, hey, because these do happen, here are some techniques you can gain, or here are some techniques you can probably recall. If you find yourself in a situation, you can actually fend for yourself. In addition to those classes, a proclamation signing, and weekly information booths, Nicholson helped organize a 5K color run to further connect community members to the cause. When people are engaged, they learn, they retain information. And so if I can have everybody leave through here and understand what is sexual assault, how do you prevent a sexual assault, I would feel very successful as a SARC. Lance Corporal Tony Nardiello, Rota, Spain.